If you've been using auto room correction in your home theater, but you're not quite happy with the sound levels, I'm gonna show you how you can manually calibrate your speaker levels using two things, the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit and an SPL meter. Let's discuss. Manually calibrating your home theater has never been easier now that we have the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. Very, very valuable. Now, you're also gonna need one other thing, an SPL meter. Now, this one was sent to me by Top Test. They did send this to me for free. I do get to keep it. However, they're not paying me to make this video. They're not reviewing this video before it's being uploaded. And they did send me two of these. So one of these I will have available to give away in a future video. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss when that video drops to let you know how you can win one of these as well as some other products. If you've never used an SPL meter before, it's actually very simple. All it does is, is measures the sound in your room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit in our main listening position, we're gonna turn this on, and then we're gonna use the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit to manually calibrate our sound levels on our speakers like the one I have here. So, the Top Tez SPL meter. When you take the top off, and you will have to put batteries in there, I already did that on mine, but when you take the top off, you'll see a microphone with a little wind cover, and then you'll turn it on, and then you'll see some, some numbers on there, and you'll probably see this the numbers moving up and down because I'm talking right in front of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on manually calibrating our system. Front left. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to turn on our SPL meter. So we'll do that now. All right, so once it's on, we wanna change a couple of things. So we wanna make sure that we change this to C weighting, okay? Okay, so now it's on C weighting, and then we wanna change this to slow. So this is just gonna give us a more accurate reading when we have it set to C weighted and slow. So once we have that, we can turn on our system, we can put in the SACD, and then we can calibrate our speakers. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single speaker because once you do one speaker, it's the exact same thing for every other speaker. So I'm just gonna show you one speaker, that way you get an idea, and then you should be able to calibrate the rest of your SPL levels for the rest of your speakers. All right, so I've got the Special Audio Calibration Toolkit and the Blu-ray player. So what we wanna do is, we want to go down to level matching. So we're gonna click on that and I have a 7.1.4. Okay, so I have it paused now. And what you wanna do is you wanna go through your whole system, every speaker and you know, adjust your speaker. But first, what you need to do is we need to go into our AVR or pre-pro and we need to do a couple things. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn your audio all the way to reference. Now, I would suggest putting on some headphones until you adjust this or earmuffs or whatever so that you don't damage your hearing. Okay, so now that we're at reference, so we're gonna be calibrating our speaker levels at reference. Next, I'm going to need to go into my receiver and pull up the menu, okay? So I need to go to level calibration. That's my profile. And then I need to go to the front left and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our SPL meter. Once we get our levels to 75 dB, that's gonna be our, our speaker's gonna be calibrated to reference. Okay, so we're gonna play the test tones and you know I'm gonna turn it down because I don't wanna blow out your, your ears, but we're gonna play the test tones and let that white noise play. And then I'm going to adjust it on my SPL meter so that it reads 75 dB. Now, normally you would do this in your main listening position. I'm not at my main listening position right now because I'm just doing this for the video, 
but we want to do this in your main listening position. Front left. Okay, so looks like we got it around 75.2, 75.7. It was hovering around there, so that's probably going to be our best bet. But that's all you do. It's really, really easy, guys, especially with the SA CD now. So, again, make sure you put your SPL meter on C weighting, set it to slow, go into your AVR, turn your volume all the way up to reference, and then, you know, you... You just look at the, the SPL meter, you play the white noise, and once you get to 75 decibels, then you move on to your next speaker, and that's it. All right, guys, so that's how you manually calibrate your SPL levels in your home theater with your speakers. Now, if you want to pick up this SPL meter, then I'll leave a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, and there is a discount code. You can get 10% off, and I'll leave the discount code in the description below. And if you want to pick up the Spatial Audio Toolkit, then you can go to spatialcd.com, and you could type in Cowboy 10 to get 10% off. Thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, no matter where you're at on your home theater journey, make sure you enjoy it. For Haterate Cowboy Cinema, I'm Haterate Cowboy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.